everybody back here again for our vlog a day and today is Sunday the second and today was a beautiful day outside hot sunny a um, couple clouds here and there but overall just a beautiful hot day <clears throat> got up this morning uh, fairly decent time had a few plans of things we wanted to do and kind of just pushed them all off because we decided to really have just a full-on lazy day to recover from our vacation we had a lot of stress a lot of travel time and just a lot of activity we were pretty much going all the time and the days we weren't going like doing stuff we were driving all the time so <clears throat> definitely not the most relaxing of vacations so we got home yesterday and decided today was just going to be a bum day i really needed to mow my yard it was one of the major things i needed to do but i figured i can put it off i can mow in the heat tomorrow after my bedding around so not a big deal there so we did get up got a few things taken care of nothing major uh, we have a dog meet and greet coming uh, about three they showed up uh, before then we went and did a little shopping we got a few things taken care of and just not much we went to Winn Dixie which is the closest store to us um, I like Winn Dixie um, a lot of times what about Walmart because there's a few things Karen will need that can't get at Winn Dixie but the service and the customer service and stuff is the people you deal with are always less desirable I guess would be a proper way of putting it a politically correct way of putting it they're, they're assholes they're less assholes in Winn Dixie than they are at Walmart so went ahead got our shopping done um, headed back to the house and just kind of bummed out we I put the trailer away it was in the driveway so I moved over to the next to the house dropped the camper um, got everything put away there and just kind of lazy around did some laundry uh, mostly Karen was laundry day to day um, we just didn't do a lot I actually went and took a nap um, I think I don't know if she fell asleep I know I did um, I got some little bit of rest there. She watched some Chef um, Master Chef Junior. I think it was she was watching. I'm not sure what it was because I literally did not care. I just put the um, Hulu on and I did my best to crash out. I know I got at least 45 minutes of sleep there, which was really really desirable and needed. So I had a good time with it. So yeah, we pretty much just were bums. I ended up making a um, roast no it's turkey roasted turkey um, salami and. American white cheese um, wrapped into a crescent roll and basically heated that up. So I made like a grilled cheese salami with turkey um, croissant, I guess is a better way of putting it. So we had those for lunch and she was very pleased with how well it turned out. I was surprisingly pleased how it turned out. I would saw it before, but they just used ham and cheese. And I was like, yeah, ham and cheese seems so boring. So the salami was a little bit on the oily side when it heated up but the flavor was phenomenal. I actually like the flavor of just the turkey, the salami, and the cheese wrapped up just like in a wrap. And I think that's something I'll probably do again in the future just for the simple fact of why the hell not. It's a great, super quick little, very healthy um, lunch for her to take or me to take with me on like a run or something. Throw it in a little cooler, get back, and have myself a bunch of protein after a workout, run, or bike ride, or whatever. So, definitely um, happy to see that turn out so well. So, a lot of times I'll do that with a little bit of um, potato chip dip and um, ham, uh, pickle, and cheese. So, just drop out the pickles; so it's not quite so messy, and it's the same thing with turkey. So, super excited about how well it went. Um, for dinner, we should plan on making like a. Um, beef stuffed meatball thing like out of a biscuit or something I should have what she had in mind we have a bet on it of whether or not it's going to be too much bread not enough meat is my saying she says it won't be but we decided not to make that for dinner because the croissant um, patty melt we want to call them the uh, ham and cheese melt wherever the turkey was a little bit full and we were kind of just not super hungry after that so because we hadn't really done anything all day we've been complete bums and we were not hungry so went ahead and just ate some um, chips and dip which we brought dip back from Iowa AE makes the best dip in the world and we brought some of that back from Iowa so we needed to be getting through it before it will go bad on us. We got three tubs of dip, which is a lot. So, But if we do lose one, it's not that big a deal because it's only six bucks for all three of them. So it's not like it's a really expensive thing. So uh, went ahead and knocked that out. Had a good time with it. Um, watched some Netflix. Ended up watching... Um, the running out show. We watched... Um, Worst Thing Ever, I think it's called. I'm not sure what it's called, actually. It's about a dude. It's um, Weasley from Harry Potter... And he ends up um, getting misdiagnosed with cancer. And he's kind of a bum in this show. Like, he's kind of this lazy bum. And he gets misdiagnosed with cancer, finds out that everybody's like, his girlfriend doesn't dump him, finds out his boss doesn't fire him, all kinds of stuff because he has cancer. Turns out it's not uh, actually cancer. The doctor is incompetent. And the doctor is going to be fired if he gets caught. So it just becomes a whole running mess of how much that right there becomes. Like, his life 
wrapped around this lie and the, the whole thing. So we binged watched, I don't know, probably three or four episodes of those and um, enjoyed it. It was fun. There was a lot of just those dumb moments. You're like, okay, this is really stupid. But it was comically stupid. So chilled out there and just pretty much just chatted and talked. And I, like I said, I napped. And it was just a lazy-ass day. Uh, the dog meet and greet. Dog meet and greet went well. The, their dog had, like, super crazy high energy. Um, so it'd be good once her and Bruce can get out of the backyard and really rough house and wear that energy down so she sleeps a little better. Totally obsessed with the um, beef hoof. Um, she was, oh my God, she wanted that thing so bad, just chewing on it, carrying it around, just more showing it off. Like, look what I have, you don't have, kind of thing. It was, it was really great. So, that we're watching that dog this week uh, for like a week. Next week starts Saturday, I think, I believe it is. So, but yeah, should go well there. Everything went great for the day. And that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.